Hey, what's up guys? Pilot here with a video I've been super excited to put out. And if you're a member of my Twitch community, you will know how long I've wanted this to happen. Well, today's the day. It's Infinity Zayn. So to preface this, uh, the first build I ever made for any character was for Zero in Borderlands 2. And it was, of course, Infinity Zero. And while it wasn't the strongest build out there, it was still plenty strong and pretty good fun too. Uh, it's been my go-to build for years now, and when the Infinity made its return for Borderlands 3, I just knew I had to try it again with one of the characters. Uh, I love the gun, but I feel it doesn't ever seem to get its day in the sun, so hopefully I fix that with this build. Now, this build is built on three core aspects. Fire rate, speed, and weapon damage. More specifically, Vladov weapon damage. As with most Borderlands 3 builds, anointments play a huge role in this, for better or worse. With that in mind, the main function of this build is to keep your fire rate as high as possible and keep your action skills active and used. Both action skill active and action skill end anointments play a part in this build, which is why I've opted to use the Sentinel Tree and the Mantis Shoulder Cannon Tree. Uh, Sentinel is for the active anointments and the Mantis is for action skill end anointments. As you can see here, this build just makes the infinity tear through enemies. Swap between the appropriate elements, keep your sentinel active to do his thing, pop your shoulder cannon every 5 to 10 seconds, and you will be living your best bullet hose fantasy. This works best in areas with lots of enemies to kill. The more kills, the more speed, the more fire rate, the more damage. It's pretty simple, but it's also pretty great on big one-off bosses such as Wotan and Graveward and the likes. Anyway. The gear for this build has been endlessly farmed, but due to the sheer number of passives and parts combinations, I have edited some of them in a save editor. Uh, I didn't want to make all the gear perfect, as I think that's a little bit too cheesy, but I have certainly steered things like the infinity parts, the class mod passives, in that direction. Uh, I also feel there's still a lot of room for improvement uh, and interpretation with the skills and the gear. I honestly think there's more than enough fire rate possible here, so maybe some of the passives could be swapped out for damage or something else. I'll leave that open for anyone who wants to play around with it on a more detailed basis. And of course, if you have any tested improvements, please let me know in the comments. Okay, on to the gear. Obviously, we have the Infinity, one of each element, all with sent Sentinel active cryo anointments. Uh, during the anointment rerolling, it dawned on me that the anointment I was looking for with the matching element for the next two mags on action skill end, I believe it is, uh, it simply doesn't exist for the Infinity and its lack of mags, that makes sense. Uh, so I opted for the good old Sentinel cryo anointment, you can't go wrong with that and it's always been, uh, it's always been a good one to use. Uh, the shield is the Revolter, with the only anointment I think it should ever really have. Uh, the shield itself gives you bonus shock damage for 15 seconds when depleted, but the anointment activates that effect as soon as you fire your shoulder cannon. So rinse and repeat as often as you'd like, it's a no-brainer and the damage is fantastic. For the class mod, the Sea and Dead. If you don't already know about the Sea and Dead, it activates all of Zane's kill skills automatically with some damage. Uh, the passives on this are equally important though, buffing Vladov in fire rate as well as a huge increase to pistol damage. These passives are a nightmare to farm, so that, as I said, this has went through a save editor and I've changed the passives to suit. The artifact is a Vladov Company Man, again boosting Vladov damage as well as accuracy and crit damage. These passives, coupled with the passives on the Sea and Dead class mod, turn the Infinity into its rightful state, in my opinion, a deadly bullet hose. For your grenade, there are probably a few choices, but if I have a Sentinel, I will always go with a Cryo Recurring Hex. You can also probably get away with a few different anointments to suit your style, but I went with more incendiary damage on action skill end. I would be firing my shoulder cannon every 10 seconds or so anyway, so it fits well and it makes sense. So, on to the skills. Uh, my aim with this build, as I said earlier, is to increase fire rate, speed and damage. Luckily with Zane, all his skills come together nicely with those attributes, along with some nice skills to keep his sentinel active for as long as possible and being the best little helper drone it can be. This was also my first real look into this shoulder cannon skill tree. I took an extended break from Borderlands 3 around the time DLC 4 launched due to a bit of burnout and I said I would come back when the game reaches its quote unquote final state and now that it, the game is there I had more than enough skill points and new abilities to really make this build shine and the shoulder cannon tree was a huge part of that. These might seem like the go-to skills for this tree if you've been using the shoulder cannon a lot so I'll just keep that brief. As for the blue tree, 
This was of course a tree I'm very familiar with, so I put all my points into the usual suspects for speed, damage, skill duration, kill skills and the likes. It's all pretty standard because if it ain't broke, don't fix it. My last few skills, I wanted to get to Super Sonic Man in the orange tree as well as securing a bit of Donnybrook, so I made my way down there as best as possible. And lastly, there are also no points in the green tree. Sorry, clone, don't need ya. For augments, uh, proliferation is an absolute must have here. With this active, you don't even need to think about how many charges you have left in your shoulder cannon. Just fire it off every 5 to 10 seconds and it'll never run out, uh, but you'll be keeping your damage and anointments rolling along nicely. I also picked Colder Shoulder just for some more cryo damage. It never hurts to freeze enemies, so it seemed like the smart choice here considering we're playing as Zane. Uh, in the blue tree, I picked my usual two, Bad Dose for the debuff on em enemies and buffs to Zane, and Static fi Field to keep your shields on your side. So that's it. I'm super happy with this uh, in its current state, but also interested to see how much further it can be taken with some min-maxing and passive changes. Uh, there's a link to the save file if you're on PC down below, and here's a list of all the loot sources for the gear if you so wish to go farm it yourself. Uh, if you give this a go and enjoy it, please let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear everybody's thoughts on it and any changes people would like to make to it to maybe make it just that little bit more powerful. And of course, if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel here and checking me out on Twitch. Uh, so yeah, that's it guys. All applicable links are down below and thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Goodbye.